Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. What I intend to do in this video presentation is show you how to bring up a chart and then change the customized date range for it, meaning you can customize the start date and the end date for the chart. Now you may want to do this because you have had a trade and it was either an unsuccessful trade or a successful trade and you have a three ring binder that you print up your option trade as well as the charts for it but you want to bring up the chart for the start date and the end date when you opened and closed the trade or you want to do some research and you want to look at a specific trading pattern on a specific stock or ETF like the uh, last two first four or you want to look at what the SPY does on the uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th trade day of each month. Or you want to do, like I'm going to show you here, is use the USO chart. That's the United States Oil. That's the ETF we use for the four corners of the market updates each week in our newsletter, as well as one of the ETFs that we analyze for the bullish seasonal energy pattern, which Tom has a date range of mid-February to mid-July. So the start date would be February 15th to July 15th. So we can take a look at that particular chart on those specific dates and see how it fared last year, the year before, and so on. Now you do have the capabilities to do this, uh, but the new tools or the new feature that we've added allows us to go about it in a bit more efficient manner. So let's go to the Stocks tab, hover over Charts, and hover over Stock Charts and left click on that to bring up the Stock Chart page. Let's go over here to the Controls panel, type in USO, and click update so we're going to start with a fresh chart on USO what it is the end date is what you have up here in the stock date box which is the latest or the current date that's April 16th you'll see in the controls panel the days look back that you have on this chart over here is 120 days or whatever number you have in that box whatever you had it as last that's what it will be when you bring it up again so if you want to look at the specific date range, what you would have to do is, let's keep it on USO, but let's look at July 15th of 2017. Now you can change that in these individual boxes up here for the stock date or click on the calendar icon and then change it up here. So let's select the 2017, the month of July, and what it shows you on the calendar is that July 15th was a Saturday. That's fine. Let's go ahead and move it up to July 14th, nonetheless. So when you click on July 14th, the stock chart will reconfigure to July 14th of 2017. And there it is below. And it still has a look back of 120 days. Now, we may not need 120 days. That's the wrong amount of days look back. We want to capture the start date of February 15th to this end date of July 14th of 2017. Now you can go ahead and look up a calendar. You can click on your uh, time and calendar box down below and start counting the number of days back if you like. You can guess and say, oh, let's see, uh, July 14th back to February 15th. Uh, maybe that's 90 days. Let's try it, 90. Let's click in there and type in 90 and click update. So it's going to refresh the chart from the latest date of July 14th of 2017, and it's going back 90 days, and that start date is March 8th. Well, we didn't quite hit it. That's not February 15th. So we can do some more math and say, okay, if we want to go back X number of days to make it February 15th start date, that's roughly, let's say, another 10 days. So let's set it back 100 days. And see, what you're doing right now, folks, is you're kind of guessing and checking. And it takes a little bit of time, but eventually you'll get close and then you'll be to the point where you can add a day or a couple of days or subtract a day or two and then get the date range that you want, February 15th to July 14th. But that's still just off by about six or seven days as the start date down here shows February 22nd. Well, the easy way to do this now, folks, is first and foremost, set the date for the end date of the range you want to check. So the end date is still July 14th of 2017. But now down here by the trading days, we have another calendar icon. And so once you've changed the date back so that the end date is where you want, you now set the start date by clicking on that calendar icon. It's February 2017 or wherever you left off on that chart. And then you can go ahead and say, okay, let's just click on February 15th start date and it changes it to the number of days right there, 104 automatically for you. And now when you click update, it's going to refresh the chart 
so that you have the start date and end date that you want. Now on USO, we wanted February 15th. Check, we got that. We wanted the end day of July 15th, but that was a Saturday, so we have July 14th, and we're set. So once again, let me go through this real quick. I'm going to click on latest because we want to update this chart to the latest date, February, excuse me, April 16th. We're going to start all over again. First step, change the end date to what you want. So let's click on the calendar icon. Let's go back to July of 2017. And the 15th is a Saturday, so we're going to move it up to the 14th. The stock chart page will refresh. Here you are with a July 14th end date. It's looking back 104 days now because that's where you left it. But if it was 90 days or 60 days, you just click on the icon for the calendar there, find the month that you want for the year that you want and the start date that you want, and then click update and it will bring in the chart for the date range for, in this case, the bullish seasonal energy pattern on USO from February 15th to July 15th. Or if you want to do again the 9th, 10th and 11th trade day of a month or the last two first four trading days of the month or any other start and end date from a previous trade that you want to research print up the chart and keep in your records hope you found that educational informative and i will see you on future videos folks bye for now